Hi there, this is Tai Pan for Shanzai.com and we're having a bit of an impromptu tablet need up here. We've got Sasha and Nicole from Netbook News who've dropped by and uh, we're basically playing around with some tablets and sharing some information like a lot of good uh, hard journalists like to do. And uh, actually one of the great things about them coming by is they've also brought the XO uh, PC with them here. and. Uh, I think some of you had abused me online about this before, about my feelings after I wrote my lipstick on a pig article, but uh, now with a chance to play with it uh, myself, I can give you a little bit more feedback about what I really think about the product, and uh, we'll take a little bit closer look at this uh, tablet. So uh, we're not doing a full review today, we're doing a bit of more of a hands-on because uh, the guys have just dropped by and we want to get to play with it for a limited time, but uh, we will give you a quick look around the device. Starting with the hardware, of course, uh, big, fat, flat, huge screen for you there. You can see there's a tiny little pinhole there, though, which is the uh, the uh, camera, of course. And it's also got an optical mouse. I don't know if that shows up on the video camera there, but there's a tiny little uh, doohickey there that allows you to actually move around with your mouse pad and make things happen on the device as well. Uh, you can see the the back side of the device is one of my favorite finishes. Credit to the XOPC guys for hitting me on that one. I like the kind of slightly rubberized back. I don't like fingerprint magnet type devices, or at least I don't prefer them. Um, it is uh, an x86 based device, so you can see there's a little bit of ventilation here along the bottom of the device to let sound and air flow through the device to keep it nice and thin and cool. And then of course there's a docking connection here which looks like and it will purport it to be for accessories, thinking about things like an extra keyboard or maybe a docking station of some kind. So you can have the LC that as part of the device. Um, over here, yeah, let's get to the I.O. section of things. This is pretty much it for I.O. You've got your headphone jack out, your power jack there as well, two USB connections, HDMI out. Full SD card slot there for you, and then there's also a SIM card slot. And while the device isn't set up to do uh, 3G uh, voice uh, baseband type calls, you can do uh, data. So if you're using things like Skype or any of your uh, voice over IP solutions, you'll be able to do that with Windows. So of course one of the uh, key characteristics of the XOPC is that it's a Windows 7 Premium tablet actually. And of course that comes with all the goodness that goes along with Windows that we've talked about in some of our articles and most of our other video reviews of Windows devices. But the exciting thing of course is uh, the XOPC UI layer that they've done and put on top of that. So you can see, I would probably uh, guess that most people would have that set up so that when their device turns on it automatically enters into that particular application on startup. And then here comes the interface that they've got here. Now you can see it is a distinctly different look and feel for uh, Windows, so it is going to mask a lot of the, what I call, Windows tablet ugliness. It's not that the Windows tablet Windows is ugly, it's just that it's not as pretty as some of the other tablet UIs at the moment. Now uh, what it is is basically a grid of circles, if you can see here, it's like playing Connect 4 but with a lot more options and a lot more choices. You can move the little icons around to their different positions that you prefer, so you can group your icons how you like, and then of course you can fire them up. Now, a nice big screen like this, you're going to want to be doing things like, uh, for instance, looking at pictures. Now, they've got some of their demo content loaded on here, and while that's firing up, you can see over here in the top right-hand side, there's a little icon to let you know which application it is that you've got open. And, of course, it's the pictures here, and let's take a look at the pictures. Actually, you can drag and drop them around. The screen's got a very nice responsiveness. That's one of the things that they've done really well in hardware. It's uh, multi-touch and pinch and zoom, so that's quite handy as well. If you want to get rid of an application that's loaded here, you just simply swipe it away and it's gone. And that's great. You can have more than one application, of course, open at a time. That's the nice thing about the Atom goodness that you'll be finding inside is you have the power to do a little bit of uh, multitasking and have a few things going at once. It looks like, to start things off though, the XOPC, they haven't come out and really said who it's targeted at, but we're seeing a lot of sort of, in the early iterations anyway, of some children's type aimed applications. So let's look at the books for a minute. I can imagine a kid would actually love watching some of the, reading some of these books. Um, let's see what we've got here. Fire this one up. Now this one actually uh, is in French, so you'll have to practice your French reading to read the story, but it looks like a book cover on the front. When you're opening up the device, it actually has a very similar to a, a book looking feel in the sense that you can see both pages of the book. And you can swipe your way through scroll along. It's very responsive, very nice, and you can imagine for kids we get a kick out of that and be able to play around and scroll back and forth and probably having an endless supply of digital books wouldn't hurt as well. 
Of course, you can go a little bit further in the digital uh, uh, book world and you can go to something like here, which is a Dolores the Explorer or whatever her name Dora is. Dora the Explorer. What's her name? Dora. Dora! Sorry, I, keep, I don't read enough of Dora actually. I should be that. <laughs> but she's got, she goes a little bit step further in the ebook reading uh, world by doing not just uh, things that look like books where you can sort of move around, but she has actual uh, animations and things happening inside of the book, which kind of really takes advantage of the power of uh, the digital world for uh, the book experience. So you can see that that might be quite entertaining. And you can see now that we've got multiple applications going on at the same time on the device, and there's no problem with the performance for that. Done with an application, just swipe it over and close the book there as well. Uh, for things like the key applications that you'll be using on your typical tablet scenario video, well, I think what we'll do is we'll show you some video that they've got loaded on here now. So digging into video, they've actually got their own video application launcher in the sense that they've got a, an ability to sort of scan your files and check your folders to find your videos. And you can see through the interface here, we've got a nice little My Video section, which always includes some beautiful sample videos. You might recognize the wild horses of your dreams and every other Windows implementation you've ever had with sample videos on it. But that's a good demonstration of 720p video performance on the device seems to be very good and of course the big screen makes watching video very nice. It's definitely not something I so of course uh, your tablet sofa surfing device again we recommend for devices this size and weight that probably uh, it's more of a sofa surfing device and you can see from the application things that Exos put on there that they're probably aiming at that market again as well. Uh, let's talk about browsing for a moment. At the moment, they've got a UI that looks like it could be a layer on top of Internet Explorer. We're not sure yet. It's not really quite that uh, mature yet, but the EXO guys are telling us that they're working on that. So that's important to know. And uh, actually, for now, we would probably recommend you just go straight back to your typical Windows experience and fire up uh, Internet Explorer when you want to do some browsing. And you can't really go wrong with that. Windows, uh, despite all your people's complaints about Internet Explorer, you have still the options when you're in Windows to use Chrome or Firefox or any of your other favorite browsers. So your Windows experience will definitely be able to give you the browsing experience that you're used to on your PC, pretty much. Uh, the XOPC is actually unavailable on the market today and it starts at $599 and up depending on your memory requirements and uh, configuration of the device. Uh, speaking of memory, it has super fast SSD memory, so that's part of the reason why the performance and responsiveness of the device is so good. Originally, in my opinion on this, was that the XO was a lipstick on a pig story that was trying to cover up the ugliness of Windows. I think everyone knows there's obvious advantages to Windows and the connectivity that Windows has with its uh, x86 uh, Wintel uh, software world out there that has those advantages. But if people are looking for a better tablet experience, they need a better UI. And it looks like XOPC is doing that uh, with the work that they've done with their UI layer. Um, I think their UI layer is definitely something different. I haven't seen anything like that before. It's a, a nice to have a, a fresh approach, so those are the positive things. On um, the other side of things though, I'm not really changing my lipstick on a pig opinion yet. I think it's still in the lipstick phase. They've got a few uh, more wrinkles to iron out with maybe some more makeup, and then once they get the eyeliner on the whole thing here, we'll have one beautiful user interface for a tablet device. <laughs>